Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there in Facebook land. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Lewis Reyes, and I am your exchange's senior enlisted advisor. Today, I am honored to have a very special guest. But before we get to him, let me introduce my co-host, Julie Mitchell, Leah Matthews. Ladies, how are you doing today? Hi, Chief. It's been a day, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> doing great. <laughs> Well, for those that know, no, no, this is our third time. So let's get a crack in, Julie. Third time's a charm. Go right ahead. Can you do you mind introducing our guests? I don't mind at all. We are truly honored to host today's guest. He is active duty army and has held every enlisted leadership position in artillery, ranging from cannon crew member to command sergeant major. He's deployed numerous times, including operations Desert Storm and Desert Shield, Iraqi Freedom, New Dawn, Inherent Resolve, Enduring Freedom in Kosovo. Now he's the Army Chief of Staff's personal advisor on matters affecting the enlisted force. Please help us welcome the 16th Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinston. Hey. SMA, SMA, SMA. <laughs> <laughs> Third time's a charm, and I'm glad to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sergeant Major Grinson, thanks so much for joining us. It's really an honor to have you on Chief Chat. And everybody watching, if you can hear us, drop a note in the comments and let us know where you're watching from. Share your questions and comments with Sergeant Major Grinson there. We will read them live throughout the broadcast. That's if you can hear us. Now is a good time to start your watch party if you can enjoy this with your friends. If you're not already following us, you should. Chief Chats are every Tuesday and Thursday and sometimes Fridays, and that way you'll know who's coming up next. Like tomorrow. We have one tomorrow. You're you're going to want to see it. We'll see it. They want to see this one today, but unfortunately the sound isn't working. But don't worry about it for everyone at home. We are recording this right now, and we'll put it back on, on the Shop My Exchange website, just so you could view it later. So, uh, unfortunately, we'll, we'll, if you have any questions, if you could hear us, uh, Leah, you mind putting a comment in there, just saying, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. We're recording, we'll ask it uh, if yes, we get sir. a chance here. And we'll, I'll, I'll follow the comments here in the meantime, since we're not live. So, with that, SMA Grinson, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us. As Judy said, it truly is an honor to have you with us. It's great to see you again. I know it's been a while. There's been a lot of things going on in the world since we last caught up. How how are you doing? How have you been? Uh, it's great. Um, yeah. You know, a year ago, if they told me I was going to, you know, in January, you know, we're going to go in and maybe have this big uh, hit on Soleimani. And then, you know, we're going to have a pandemic. Then we're going to have some cultural unrest. Uh, and then, you know, just add all that together, throw it all in one. I don't know. Uh Maybe they voted the wrong guy for the Sergeant Major of the Army. They needed a different one, <laughs> but uh, no, no. The, uh, it's it's a it's a historic time. It's it, it's very busy. Uh, the Army is doing great things. Uh, the military is doing great things for everybody. Uh, but you know, you just uh, no mess out. We're just waiting for the hurricane. Just you know, just get hey, come on, bring it. What else? Uh, what else can you throw at us? So. Um, but uh, we're doing the best we can uh, for everybody. And uh, thanks for having me today. But everything's going great. Well, well thank you. Good to, good to hear that. And you're definitely right. 2020, I don't know if it's been a year like 2020 since I've been alive. It's it's crazy. A first for everything. But So to get us started, do you mind telling us a little bit about yourself and your role in the Army? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, I got a, a great opportunity. Um, you know, I do sit on the APHES board, uh, which is one of my favorite roles. Um, most people don't know that, uh, and I, I actually like it when you say, oh, Sergeant Major, you know, what's going on with AFIS? I was like, I guess that's <laughs> kind of my fault. Um, you know, uh, but, you know, I get to be the voice for the soldiers uh, for the Army uh, on the AFIS board. But I've also sat on, you know, another board, which is uh, the Army Emergency Relief Board. Um, a lot of people don't know that. So uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm actually on the exec executive committee also. So. There's a couple boards that we go in that uh, those are two that really make an impact to the soldiers. Um, but then on a daily basis, uh, there's so many other things that uh, really enjoy making a difference in the soldiers lives um, through policy or procedures. You know, we have the new Army combat fitness test coming out, which is uh, super exciting for everybody in the Army. I know everybody's just really pumped up for that one. Um, <laughs> so, uh We've got some great stuff we're doing for uh, talent management, and uh, that usually gets run through my office. But 
the biggest thing uh, that I'm really, you know, I get to, that I really got some great buy-in from the Secretary of the Army is an idea and a program of this is my squad. And this is about, you know, if people thought, you know, in the Army, they thought infantry squad, you know, what about me? Well, it's a term of endearment. So everybody has a squad. Uh, and you may be a member of more than one squad. Um, and it's a positive aspect of how you look at the leader of your squad. Do you know your people? Are you a good leader? And the personal pronoun, my, you know, do you want to be my squad leader? Do you want to be my boss? Or are you the boss? Uh, it has two different connotations. So this is about a cultural change in the Army, keeping things positive that focuses on the leader. And we can really understand our people. And you look at what's all those things I talk about were going on in the world. If we could just focus in on being a good person uh, with a positive attitude that knows the people that I work for and I know the people that work for me, uh, I think we'll have a better understanding. We'll change our culture and we'll just be better at military. We'll be a better army. And that's one of the biggest things that uh, we're kind of running out of the Sergeant Majors of the Army office. So I'm, uh, I'm really excited. So that's kind of my roles. And there's about a thousand other things that I got going on <laughs> right now. But uh, those are just the highlights. I think I, I agree. I think that's important. Right. This is my squad. I, you know, and NCOs are like the backbone of the military, right? Those first line supervisors, especially when you have young soldiers, you know, those first line supervisors are there for those young soldiers. And if you could, you, you know, that inclusion, and this is my squad, that 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 uh, cohesion of people together, I think definitely uh, if it starts at the bottom, as they grow throughout their service, you know, it'll be easier to propagate once they get to the top. Uh, so I think that's a great, great model. This is my squad. I love it. How How is that working? How are you I know you said it started at the your, your office. How is that working down at the lower levels? Is that being included in some some schooling or? or? Yeah, uh, I, you know, I'm really excited. Um, normally, I say what I don't want it to be actually associated, you know, with me. I want this is just how we should treat people. Uh, it's like this is, you know, this is not about one individual. This is um, about, you know, how we should understand the person sitting right next to us. How many times have we sat down and didn't know that person's story sitting right there? And then we all have that story and we all have to understand that. So, um, I think what's happening is over time, it is in schools. We talk about it on our basic leader course. Um, I've talked about it in forums, but what I'm starting to see now is, you know, just regular staff sergeants are talking about it. And then there's, you know, and then I got, you know, other leaders are saying, oh, this is my squad. I got a really cool squad, by the way. Um, <laughs> the chief of staff of the Army, uh, the secretary of the Army, and the vice chief of staff. Uh, the Army. So uh, we got a good squad. Now, if anybody can top that one, you let me know. I can't. Um, I, can't. I got Julie. I got Julie and Leah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe you beat me on that one. But uh, <laughs> But I that, think we do. But. You know, it's really going uh, at the at the junior level. And, and this is not just about soldiers. This is about, you know, who's in your squad. You're like my family. I think my family's in my squad. And that's why I said you could be part of more than one. Do they truly know you? Those people that truly know you see a difference, notice, uh, and they can help you through those things. I think this is about junior leadership. And you could be a DA civilian. It could be, you know, contractors, just those people that know you, see, and can help you along the way and, and brings us all together. But I, I think I, I'm starting to see it come. It's rising and people are actually believing in it. And the more we can train to understand each other, the better. I think, like I said, it's going to be, you know, great uh, for the Army. Sergeant right, Major, right. Oh, sorry, Chief. I was just going to say that it looks like people are embracing that be just from looking at social media and, and looking at the hashtag. Um, I saw a lot of people using that hashtag out there. This is my squad. Yeah, that's good. We'll keep it going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. It's all, all that. Right. Just caring. Caring changes things. Right. And that's what it's. Yeah. About. Caring, uh, listening and 